so much shit that I want to do. I want, you know, I want to have my own podcast. I want, I want to, yeah. um, and, 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 you know, the people that we've already reached out to through, uh, one of my guys that works at, you know, ACAL clothing, whatever, Justin, he doesn't just, he doesn't work at a, this motherfucker holds this sh- everything together. What mm. I'm doing, you oh, know, yeah, shout out Justin, for yeah, sure. Justin Oric is, is, yeah. uh, that that's the guy. If, if you can't, if I ain't answering the phone, you got to call him. Yeah. Um, but you know, See, I just forgot what I was gonna say. But, ah, but yes, you, I'm not alone. I, I want I want to do a podcast. Oh, and yeah. Justin has connections. You know, Justin used to work for a certain company that had a lot of connections, and he took some of those connections with him. And through the UFC and other people that he knows, like Dana White and shit like that, we're able to get a hold of Mike Tyson oh, and be able to have him on the podcast. You know, guys like Ted Nugent. You know, at first I'm gonna have to pay Fuck for these yeah. people, and we already yeah. have their prices and stuff like that, and that's fine. But once the shit is popping, people are gonna be asking to come on to the show. Yeah, you know, talk about content. That'll be yeah. amazing. Man. Yeah, so for you and Mike Tyson is gonna be so. Yeah, fun. That's him and Nugent I mean, would be amazing, and that's yeah, that another thing. Too. And he'll bring you, know, you guns. You want to know what's crazy? Tell me. I just thought about this because because Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. So a lot of a lot of people uh, in the new world. I keep thinking that's a money gun. God, I wish it was. That'd no, be fire. It's actually a Nintendo Switch. Okay, well, fuck it. Hello, Nintendo Switch. So, <laughs> money, so a lot of people, gun, because of how I am, what I've said, the videos I've made, the racism video, mm-hmm. a lot of like. A lot, not a lot. There's people that just take a glance at me and they're like, "Oh yeah, that dude's racist." Yeah, of course. <laughs> right? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> like like course. when I say that, it's and you know who it is is it's white people. That, yeah. It's like white, like soft ass, <laughs> purple haired. Uh, yeah. And no offense to people with purple uh, hair. It's not all people with purple hair. Yeah. Uh, but like those people, they're yeah. like. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, he's fucking racist. He's a, he's a cis, a white cis male. Like the the words they're saying, I don't even know what they are. They don't either. But but the, I I was just thinking about Mike Tyson, and he's like my my childhood and adulthood uh like hero. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm so glad to see what he's doing now because that dude has got such a cool story. Plus, in his podcast and shit some of the shit he says yeah, i'm just it's, like it's who thinks mike tyson's stupid because this yeah, motherfucker bro, talks like he's yeah. a prophet or something yeah. anyways yeah he's the so opposite you're absolutely of stupid, right, right? Though, back People, to the yeah, to he's the, smart bro yeah he's amazing the yeah. things he says but back to the to the to the white people that didn't like my song racism or or think I'm some what like fucking whatever i think what they did is they changed the they changed the definition of racist or racism and and it's because we live in a, a lot softer world now. Like, if you go in my house, <laughs> there is vinyl records, mm-hmm. paintings, uh, all over my house of of the people that inspired me as yeah. a, as a child. Yeah, which happened to be black. Now, as a kid growing up, you go in my room. My room is plastered with posters of Bo Jackson, ah, Mike Tyson, go. Yep. Michael Jordan. Yep. Love it. Bo okay. is my and you're, and you're an Illinois boy, so that makes... Yes, uh, Michael Jordan. Yeah. You, if you tell me that LeBron James is the GOAT, I'll punch you in the fucking yeah, shoulder. Dude. I'm jo- I've been, I argue with people all the time about that, bro. Bo Jordan's is my guy. the GOAT. Bo Jackson is probably yeah. the dopest my athlete that's ever lived. Okay. So it's like growing up, th- all my childhood idols and heroes were black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. like, that that's who, who so it, it and 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 look what i chose to do with my career i wanted to be a rapper yeah. you know what i'm saying uh and and there was a point in time where i had to appeal to an urban audience so i had to look urban mm-hmm. right so and i had to live in these areas because back in the 90s and early 2000s where i'm from you weren't rapping in you you couldn't go down the street in, in the suburbs to some white dude's house and be yeah. like, hey man, mix this and play this beat and let's record. That wasn't happening. Mm, Not yeah. where I lived. So where did we go? We went to Chicago. Yeah. We went to Inglewood in Chicago. Went to Southside to record at all these different places. We were all in all these shitty neighborhoods and lived. And I had to, and I lived. I ended up living here, cutting my my first songs I ever did. And and I listen to them now. I look back and they and they were they were. 
They were not good. It takes time. <laughs> it takes bro. time to be a good rapper, bro. And he, li- I mean, you can. They were. They, can fa- they were not good. Yeah, they, they weren't. He literally. Trying. He literally showed you. Literally showed us where you recorded yeah. the first songs on the on, when yeah. you. Yeah, Joel, that was in. Yeah. Now that was in Joliet. Yeah, on the hill. And if anyone's familiar with Joliet, there's the hill. And uh, on the hill, there's two. The first and the second projects. They knocked one of the projects down. But that's where I spent all my time. You know what I'm saying? And then I go to prison, and and. Who am I surrounded by? The prison I'm in is 85% black. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I get it. I, and, and even me talking about it right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, just because you had paintings, just because you, just because all your fucking idols and, and things are black, that doesn't mean you're not rich. Well, shut the fuck up. They're, about, they're gonna, they're gonna think that way regardless, bro. That? They take a snapshot of what they think is you, yeah, and then they just say, Run with it. That's him. I, but but you know it used to. What I'm trying to say is, it used yeah. to bother me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't bother me anymore. But there's this funniest video I ever saw was with Mike Tyson before he. It was at a press conference before one of his fights. He was he was all decked out in his black shirt. He was fucking up there, and there's a white reporter talking to him. He said, "He's like, he's like, what'd you say, you little white bitch, you little <laughs> white pussy? I'll fuck you till you love me, bitch." He's like, I'll eat God, your asshole. I, I, and and he's like, yeah, look at you scared, you little white pussy. And 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 that's racist, right? I mean, that's not in my world where I'm from. Yeah. That shit's hilarious, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. But yeah. but like if uh, it but that it's if it was switched, it would be right. If it was switched to turn around, canceled. that would be considered. But in my world, as a kid, seeing that as a young man, seeing that, I'm like. That motherfucker! That's yeah. my motherfucker! He's snapping right now. It yeah. didn't matter if it was a white guy. He's snapping. I don't give a fuck. But it was just awesome. Like you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. And sometimes people say shit, and and like comedians, you can't even say you can't even be a comedian anymore. Mm-hmm. And and I think it's hilarious when black comedians or white comedians roast white people and yeah. vice versa roast black people because there are stereotypes of white people like hey man that's a that that's a good looking salad buddy like i'll call yeah. the police on you you fucker like like yeah. that's funny yeah. like th- like there's things that like like our stereotypes of white people there's things that are stereotypes of black people and that's that's the thing that i try to do in that song racism is to break down these and and you know what if i did it later in my career now i could probably have done it a lot better than i did it in the be- beginning of my yeah. career you know what i mean and yeah. and it, well, so it, it would have been a bigger platform now yeah and it would have been more yeah. tastefully done you know yeah. what i mean um but you know that that record has has halted a lot of progress in my career you know opportunities in my career uh tours and, and shows yeah. and venues shut down and stuff like that but also if I had to do it again, I would because I meant that shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I draw a line in the sand of how I feel and what I what I think and who I am, and and I stand on it. And I'll die on that fucking that hill. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, and I think that's another reason why people fuck with me is because I never switched up how I. You know, I'm I'm. You know, this is me. Yeah. 